Oh, welcome back. And today we're going to be taking a look at a little bit of a Smedit tutorial. So we're going to look at a couple of things. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's take a look at the browser. Great place to go, starmadewiki.com slash wiki slash SM edit. That is where you're going to get the tool. The tool is uh, downloadable for free and you can get it here. All of the operations you're going to need a bit of information such as uh, how to use basics but we're going to cover that now. There was a slight thing um, with the installation so I would like to just go over that quickly as well. Um, effectively what I do is I use what's called a ring fenced installation so what that means is all my star maids are installed here. Now if I go into my old installs, I've got my 3rd of October build here, which I've renamed Smedit. And inside, you'll notice that we've got all the, uh, the Joe plugins, and then we've got the uh, Smedit to launch the uh, to launch the build just here. And that is up to date. But like I say, I use the 3rd of October build, which you can obviously get from uh, from StarMade. So let's just show you how you actually get that first. So I'm going to open a tab for Smedit, uh, no, StarMade, there we go, right, and uh, go to download, and you want to go for manually, and then you want to pick the one that is from the 3rd of October, it may work with the 15th or even the 28th, but I know it didn't seem to, he had problems in the newer build, so I've tested it with this one and um, it works so what you're going to do is you're going to install this to a folder and that folder is going to be uh, any folder that you want so it's very simple all you got to do is create a new folder okay and then I we'll think we may as well well yeah let's go through this so I'm going to say test tourist open it up and then I'm going to download that build. So there it is. So uh, give it a minute while it just downloads the file. And I'll go back and show you the other steps. So the first thing we're going to need to do is in fact go to our computer, C, users, your username. And then you'll notice there's a file down here which is called .josm. I'm going to open that with notepad and we'll just get some notepad action set up for you. So there's notepad. Right, now what we're looking for is we're looking for the screen that says our install location. So that's usually at the top somewhere. Did I go past it? There it is, Star Made Home dot. Hmm, okay. Well, anyway, mine seems to be working well. So what we're going to be doing is putting in the path to StarMade in there. So if I just go back to folder view so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to go back to my folder. Right, now, in here we are. Just, just forget that original folder for now. So, I have my 3rd of October build in here. What you do is you unzip it and put the contents in the StarMade folder. So you unzip the file that you get. I'm going to show you in a second. But basically, this is my 3rd of October build. Go into StarMade. You put your uh, Joe plugins in the right place. And then you put your Smedit in the right place. Update it and you're good to go. So if we just launch that now. And then you can just see that it is working. It'll be great. So if I go click on the thing, I've got all my stuff, modify, it's all still here. So for all intents and purposes, it's working. So that's good. So I'll go back here and see this address up the top. That's the address that you're going to need to put into the text file. So I just literally click here and then right click it, copy, and then we go back to the text file. I don't know why that one has sort of come up like that. It's a bit strange. It just says dot. But anyway. Put that in. D star made. Da, 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 da. Need to double 
double brake the flashes and the first thing there, so I'm just do that. There we go. Oh, it's because I renamed the folder. Of course it is. I renamed the folder from 3rd October build to Starmade's Medit. So, yeah. So there we go. That's fixed. And um, that's all you really need to do with that, to be honest. Um, what we're doing there is just putting the path back. So let's just take a look at what I'm doing. Uh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? So there it is. That's the line that you've got to get it put in there to make it all work. Um, uh, cause all it does is it basically tells Smedit to look at your old build install, which you have just made, but, uh, we'll go through that real quick. So if I go into folder, I should be able to go to downloads eventually somewhere. I'll put it on date. Scroll down, star made build. So copy that. And let's just go star made. We'll make a new folder, call it test, open it, paste. Now then, extract here. And there you have it. That's all the internal insides of a star made folder, right? So now we take a new folder, call it capital S, capital M, star made. Incidentally, this is the same way you restore a backup once an upgrade has taken place. So chuck all that in there. And then the last thing you're going to need is a launcher. Luckily, all launchers are currently the same. So we just copy any launcher. Back to StarMade, into test. Copy it here. And now when you run it, you'll notice that it says... Of course, I can't get that. Can I get that up on the screen? Uh, you'll notice that it says update. Let's see if I can get a screen screen capture on this. Add region. There, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. There, ah, there we go. It did work, right? So I just got to get it the right size, and we're good to go. <clears throat> okay. So basically, update and install the latest version. Don't click that because obviously it will overwrite the fact that you made it the late, the, the old version. Okay, so you just ignore that part and click start game. That's how you would get in and use that. I only ever use it to come in and use the catalog manager, but um, you know that's that's something that you can do because I export the ships and import them into the current build using the catalog manager. So that's that. Using those combination by installing a separate build of the 3rd October StarMade release, placing all your StarMade uh, Smedit files in there, and then by taking the path for this folder, right here it would be, and then updating that into your JOSM, uh, JOSM file, which I showed you just here, and I showed you where that was downloaded, where that was as well, it's in your user folder, so, uh, you know, go to your user, and there it is, JOSM. Edit it, update it, and point it in the right place. That's it. That's all you got to do. So that is running StarMade Smedit with the old version of StarMade. Everything still works, guys. So, just putting that out there. Thanks for watching. And I'll be coming up next with uh, some interesting tutorials on the actual use of Smedit, which would be nice. So.